Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd speak about the importance of vegetables, water and sleep in a weight loss or a fitness journey. Back in 2016, I actually went to a dietitian and got a proper meal plan which was balanced in all aspects. And through and, and since then, I've always had different dietitians but I've always had questions for them and I was very curious as to the science behind the food. And what I have learned through that is what I'm going to speak about today. The mistakes that I made initially was that I focused too much on having the protein and the carbohydrates and the fats and I ignored vegetables, the importance of drinking enough water and the importance of sleep. So firstly, we'll speak about vegetables. So vegetables, as we know, have a lot of nutrients in it. For example, I did some research on cucumbers. As you can see, cucumbers have tons of vitamins in it. There's vitamin C, there's B6, there's vitamin K, calcium, magnesium, iron, zinc. Cucumber also has a lot of water in it and that keeps us hydrated. What you should be careful about is when you saute them, say in olive oil or any other form of oil, because oil is actually quite high in calories. And let's say you have three or four serves of vegetables in a day. It's because of the oil, you might actually be in a calorie deficit diet and the oil might push you into a calorie surplus diet. So you might not lose weight and you need to be careful about these things because I've made those mistakes where you seem to be doing everything right but there are such tiny things that you do wrong which you think are irrelevant but they all add up. The other side of vegetables is the fiber content. So vegetables are very high in fiber. Fiber actually helps the body digest the food and absorb its nutrients. Fiber also digests really slowly so when you are on a calorie deficit diet it actually keeps you fuller for longer. So I do recommend having as much as veggies as possible. They're very low in calories and highly, highly nutritious. The second part is water. Our body is made up of 60% of water. 73% of our brain and heart is water. 83% of our lungs is water. Our skin is 64% water and kidneys is 79% water. So this itself states how important water is for our body. And for some weird reason, a lot of us actually don't drink. Apart from the optimal functions of an organs, water is also required for digestion. And it's also required in a fat loss journey and in your fitness journey. What I try to do is have at least two and a half liters of water a day. I live in Melbourne where it's not really hot or humid. Depending on the humidity in your city, you should probably have somewhere between two and a half to three liters of water a day. The last part of this video is sleep. Now, sleep is not spoken enough. It is essential for mental and physical health. What happens when we sleep is that our organs relax so that they can function at the optimum level the next day when you wake up. And most of your muscle gain and your fat loss happens when you sleep. Ideally, seven to eight hours of sleep is crucial. And just to let you know, I'm not a qualified dietitian. This is just about the questions that I've asked dietitians over the years. Here's some food for thought. A lot of us are aware about accounting and taxes, yet we go to an accountant to do our taxes because we don't want to miss out on anything. Now, similarly, today because of the internet, there is so much information out there about food. So we all know so much about food, yet we hesitate to actually go and pay a dietitian for a meal plan, which kind of doesn't make sense to me. For me, health and fitness is actually the center of everything and everything else revolves around it. So I would highly recommend that you actually go to a qualified dietitian and get a personalized meal plan. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it as always. And do comment below if you have any questions. I'll try and answer them to the best of my abilities. 